like most other games it has a strong female presence man the females are stronger than the men okay they can handle themselves better no better techniques of dealing with zombies and can shoot a gun better than all these men that they have shown on this uh game so far so props to them for making a strong uh independent woman okay they uh de definitely did that they got a lot of them okay and in this video i want you guys to light up the comment section let me know who's your favorite badass female character from the walking dead game okay there's several to choose from and what i'm talking about is ta uh basically females that have the tools the skills necessary to deal with stuff going on in a zombie apocalypse okay they'll be essential to any group you rather have them on your side than as your enemy that's for sure okay so let me know what you guys think about this. I'm going to be listing these females who I think fit this criteria and their strengths and weaknesses. So looking at season one and season two. So first character on deck, we got Carly from season one. If you guys remember, she is a marksman with a pistol right for the head, man. No bullets wasted. No problem. The only thing Carly has as a weakness is she's not very strong when it comes to melee. And if she doesn't have her gun in her hand, then she's in trouble. That's what happened in episode one. If you actually choose not to save her, she gets dragged down by one walker and then he takes a big bite out of her. And on the other hand, the way she died though, I won't count that as like against her. She got shot in the back of the head. I mean, anybody would die from that, from being caught off guard like that. Lily, what Lily did was very underhanded and that brings me up to the next person on deck, Lily. We know that she has military training. You know that she can use a sniper rifle, but we haven't really seen her do anything physical. So I can't really say if she's really good with a knife or anything else. But if you went, if you're a part of the military, they treat, they teach you like basic combat and stuff like that. So she should be able to handle herself to some degree when it comes face to face. So Lily is also on deck. If you guys want to mention her, and also, what do you think would have happened if Lily versus Carly? If that fight actually went down and it was a fair fight, Lily with her weapon of choice, probably the rifle, Carly with her pistol, who would have won? A nice fair fight. Thoughts below on that too, man. Okay, but continuing on. So next character we meet up with is Krista. Krista and Omi, we've seen him on the bridge. Now, I can't really speak too much on Krista's physical ability we haven't seen her do anything but she can use a gun she did actually shoot some walkers in episode four when lee was running away from them in the uh in carver school building um she actually shot some walkers so she shoot she proved that she can shoot and save my life because <laughs> that's what she did and also she actually shot that one girl too after omit's death she shot her point right there not even looking and she shot her basically so I think she can handle. I think she can handle her gun, but we. I just don't know too much to say anything more about Krista. And next on deck, we have a very high contender, <laughs> the epic Molly, who made her first appearance in episode four and her last appearance. Hopefully, we get to see her again in season three. But continuing on, Molly, she is a expert at melee combat, beating down Lee left and right. So many people got beat down in this quick time event that uh, it was pretty ridiculous. And she also has a weapon of choice. I think she called it Hilda. Was that the name of her pickaxe that she uses? But yeah, she is a beast with that thing. The girl is ferocious, has crazy strength to be jumping around like a monkey with a battery in your backpack, a car battery. That's not natural people. So Molly was something special physical wise. And you can't forget, she's also very clever. She comes up with new methods of how to deal with zombies. She came up with the whole ringing the bell tower thing and drawing the walker to an opposite side of town so she can travel safely without worrying about any hurts or anything like that. Very clever, very innovative. Now, as far as using a gun, I don't know if she can. So I'm gonna have to give her like uh, low points on the gun work, but I can't, can't really say for sure because I haven't really seen her use anything. And as far as season two goes, we have Bonnie re-emerging from the 400 Days DLC. Weapon of choice would have to be the rifle. We've seen her use it on several occasions to mow down some walkers. As far as physical abilities, man, she's not too strong. We see her get caught up in episode four in a souvenir shop. A walker actually grabbed her by her arm and she wasn't able to free herself. You know, if you didn't help her, she'd die. So she's not too strong. And as far as melee skills with a weapon, no idea on that either so i can't remember in the 400 days dlc that she actually fight any walkers off i can't recall that remind me in the comments below she did though but next on deck we got jane whipping a choice i have to give her the carving knife i think that's what kind of knife it is i don't know it's a badass knife though and also she's been known to use a gun on some occasions you gotta get a bath before we <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. And uh, so we got to give her extra points, too, for her walker know-how. She knows about the blood. You know, the blood of the walker. She was being used to disguise herself among the herd. So that's a good trait to know. Also about the cow catcher. Introducing us to that technique first time in this show. Um, also very good techniques, man. You want that kind of innovation on your team as well. So having someone that thinks outside the box and learns new techniques about the walkers, definitely a, a good uh, implementation to the team. Now, she did get into a fist fight. Well, not fist fight, but a melee combat fight with Kenny. And ultimately, she lost. If you just leave them alone to their own devices, Kenny does kill her. So... There is that, but in her defense, she did put up one hell of a fight, and also she uh, was dealing with a very pissed off person, okay? She dude was freaking mad as shit, okay? Uh, so there's that, too. Now, those are our women in Season 2, but how could I forget Season 2 Clementine? Of course, I'm not going to include 8-year-old Clementine, because Clementine now, Season 2, she is a badass, and no doubt if they show her in her teenage years or anything like that, She'll probably take this whole thing down, okay? <laughs> because Clementine, with all the knowledge she's built up, and you know the stuff that she can survive, she survived the gunshot. She survived almost drowning in a lake of ice and ice water. Are you serious? So endurance, yeah, she got it. Durability, hell yeah. The girl is tough as nails, like they said. But yeah, uh, Clementine is also in the raffle. If you want to uh, include her in the comments below. So people, those are my women. Of course, there's some other ones out there. You know, we got Sarita, we got Katja, we got <laughs> some other women like that. But those those women aren't fighters, man. Those women, I don't think they can really handle themselves, man. So I didn't really include them in the discussion. But let me hear your thoughts below. Who you think is the most badass? Who would you like to have on your team in the apocalypse? You know, and let me know why down below. So that's it for this video, guys. Pretty short, pretty quick. Done to it. Next week, I'm going to actually raffle up and see what the uh, percentages is on this and uh, get back to it and tell you my thoughts on uh, the outcome and everything else. So it may surprise me. You know, some of these things do uh, catch me off guard sometimes. But uh, that's all I got to say. Thumbs up if you want to help promote the video. I do appreciate it. And tune in next week for another Walking Dead Wednesday to see the results. I'm out. Peace.